now on the race to March Madness. He's the pride of Kentucky and the nation's number one player. We get the inside scoop on freshman sensation John Wall. Everything you hear about John Wall is true. He's not just hype. So hop on the bus. The last stop is Indianapolis. The race to March Madness starts right now. Welcome to the 2010 edition of the Race to March Madness. I'm John Saunders. We're here at Butler's Hinkle Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, just steps from the site of this year's Final Four, where in a few short weeks we'll crown a new NCAA men's basketball champion. One young man who has a very good shot at cutting down the nets on April 5th is Kentucky point guard John Wall. Now, not many highly touted five-star recruits from Raleigh, North Carolina ever leave Tobacco Road, but that wasn't the case for this freshman phenom, who was lured to the Bluegrass State to run with John Calipari and the Wildcats. Most experts predict Wall will make just one appearance in the big dance before the NBA comes a-calling. And if this season is any indication, UK fans are in for a wild ride. Everything you hear about John Wall is true. It's not just hype. Oh, up, up and away, the best hyper dandy in the nation. He's number one. I like bringing a lot of intensity to the team. They can get up and down the court, like to play fast pace, can score at will. You know, it's basically just get the ball, you dribble, and you just get to the paint. Now, if you're a point guard and get to the rim and also pass and knock down shots, why wouldn't you want to play in this type of offense? November 16th versus Miami University. With six seconds to play, it's tied. Off to John Wall at five. Down the left side of the lane. Pulls up. 15 for her. Yes! Kentucky wins! John Wall to the rescue in his debut game. But it's over. I'm not letting it all get to my head, you know. My teammates are helping me stay level headed, and I want to stay level headed because I didn't have all this a couple years ago, you know. It all came from me working hard. Bless him with his talent and me just developing on the basketball court. So you just can't get big here. Like I said, you gotta stay humble and hungry. You know, John wants to be the best at everything. You know, he wants to be uh, the best point guard. He wants to be one of the most remembered Kentucky players to play here. You know, and he knows that in order that, for that to happen, it's hard work. December 9th, the Madison Square Garden versus UConn. Miller pops out to get it. 15 to shoot. Wall takes it back. Down the lane to the rim. Puts it in! Yeah, it is fun. I mean, sometimes you get caught up watching him just to see what he'll do next. Sometimes I'd be shocked myself that I made a certain play like that, you know. And once you see the crowd go crazy, it gets me extra hype, extra pump, and it's just hoping something like that more come on later down the road. But when you see your teammates get up like that, and if your coach make a face like, oh, I can't believe that happened, it's kind of crazy. December 12th versus Indiana University. Rebounded by Orton. Outlet pass to Wall, runs it down in front court, goes for the basket and it dunks! A high-flying left-hand dunk by John Wall, timeout Indiana. Oh, it was big time, you know, the crowd was into it. I think there was a lot of gym I played in so far for college basketball. And when I got the dunk, it quieted them down and they, I seen some of the fans just holding their mouth wide. I can't believe that just happened, so it was big time for me. I don't think there's ever been a point guard with John's size 
who had his body control, elevation, speed, acceleration. John Wall is just incredibly gifted physically, and he has a great demeanor. From the looks of it, there's no weaknesses to John Wall. You know, from what I've seen out in games from him, uh, driving, taking over the basketball game, shooting balls, uh, passing the ball, he's a tremendous passer, and he just has no flaws to his game. John Wall has just set a new school single game assist record with 16. I don't think about the NBA draft right now. And I don't think about leaving school in your early or anything right now. I'm just thinking about enjoying my, enjoying my time with my teammates right now, the coaching staff, the fan base, and just enjoying this college basketball life. So I'm just going to enjoy it to the, to the wheels fall off.